Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours Morning Prayer for Wednesday, September 15. Today is the Memorial for Our Lady of Sorrows. Let's go to the pages. For the breviary, our hymn is 1155. The antiphon is at 1403-652 for the psalm. 1,403 for the reading, 620 for the canticle. For the Christian prayer book, it's hymn number 14, 1,261 for the antiphon, 707 for the psalms, 691 for the canticle. Let's have a moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. My soul clings to you, Lord Jesus Christ. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting, my body pines for you. Like a dry, weary land without water, so I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life, my lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands, my soul shall be filled as with a banquet, my mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you, on you I muse through the night, for you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice, my soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My soul clings to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us rejoice that we have been made sharers in Christ's passion. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightning and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord, praise and exalt him above all forever. Priest of the Lord, bless the Lord, 
Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Free spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble heart, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. Let, Let us, us rejoice that we have been made sharers in Christ's, Christ's passion. passion. It has pleased the Father to reconcile all creation in himself through the blood of Christ. Sing a new song to the Lord, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its maker. Let Zion's sons exalt in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy. Take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations and punishment in all the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles in fetters of iron. To carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. It has pleased the Father to reconcile all creations in himself through the blood of Christ. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Even now I find my joys in the suffering I endure for you. In my own flesh I fill up what is lacking in the sufferings of Christ for the sake of his body, the church. I became a minister of this church through the commission of God gave me to preach among you his word in, in its fullness. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Today we remember Mother Mary as Our Lady of Sorrows. We can only imagine the pain she has undergone seeing the brutal death of her son. St. Bernard mentioned in one of his sermons that a sword has pierced her heart, but only by passing through her heart could the sword enter the flesh of her son. The spear that tore open his side from his lifeless body pierced through the heart of Mary, and yet Mary endured the pain. We are called today to hear God's word, it's not a chance. We are given, God-given wisdom to teach about Jesus. We are all created to serve our Creator. We have been created for a purpose of service. If anyone is still seeking their purpose, this is our purpose. We are commissioned by God to be His children. We are commissioned and qualified by Jesus for the eternal kingdom. We are commissioned and empowered by the Holy Spirit to endure any suffering that may come out of the uh, way of our ministry. The inexplicable joy that we feel in our hearts because Jesus is in us. The coming peace knowing that we are secured in God's children as God's children, gives us our faith that commissions us to spread the good news. 
of God's love to others. Through you we drink from the wellsprings of salvation, O Blessed Virgin Mary. Through you we drink from the wellsprings of salvation, O Blessed Virgin Mary. From the sacred wounds of Christ, O Blessed Virgin Mary. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through you we drink from the wellsprings of salvation, O Blessed Virgin Mary. Rejoice, O sorrowful mother, after your great suffering. You shine forth as queen enthroned beside your son. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way. He gave his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sin. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, O sorrowful mother, after your great suffering, you shine forth as queen, enthroned beside your son. Let us glorify our Savior, who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Let us ask him, may your mother intercede for us, Lord. Son of Justice, the Immaculate Virgin was the white dawn announcing your rising. Grant that, that we, we may always live in the light of your coming. Eternal Word, you chose Mary as the uncorrupted ark of your dwelling place. Free us from the corruption of sin. Savior of mankind, your mother stood at the foot of your cross. Grant through her intercession that we might rejoice to share in your passion. With ultimate generosity and love, you gave Mary as a mother to your beloved disciple. Help us to live as worthy sons of so noble a mother. Let us take a moment of silence to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and petitions together with the prayers and petitions of everyone praying with us this morning. We ask, Lord Jesus, that you hear and answer our prayers as we say, May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Remember us, Lord, when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Let us pray. Father, your son was raised on the cross. His mother Mary stood by him, sharing his sufferings. May your church be united with Christ in his suffering and death, and so come to share in his rising to new life, where he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time. Same place. Same, same channel. channel. Have, Have a great, great day. day.